welcome back to another vlog. As you guys can see from the title of this vlog, this is not clickbait. I am actually currently on my way to meet up with my ex-boyfriend um, and catching up with him. Before y'all start judging me, okay, we're not gonna hook up, first of all. Second of all, this is also not my most recent ex-boyfriend because I did put this on my close friends. And if you guys didn't know from earlier vlogs, I actually open up my close friends to my fam. So if you sign up for the email list, you will get a code to join my close friends on Instagram. So if you wanna get that, you know, exclusive access to what I'm doing, you guys should join. I kind of announced on there that I was gonna meet up with my ex boyfriend and I got a lot of concerned DMs from my friends especially those who kind of knew about like my last relationship so it's not that one okay everyone calm down also he's not in Vancouver okay so we good at least I don't think he's in Vancouver this time I am currently on my way to meet him and I'm literally the worst because I'm already gonna <gasps> So I'm already gonna be like 10 minutes late because I was literally just filming another YouTube video and I completely lost track of time. And by the time I looked up, I realized that we're gonna be late. I haven't been late in a really, really long time. It's just really unfortunate that I'm late this time and also for my ex-boyfriend. So let me give you guys a little background on this guy before y'all start judging me, okay? So first of all, this is my relationship that I was in in grade eight, okay? So super innocent. If you guys listen to the podcast, this is not the grade six boyfriend. There is a very big difference. So this is my grade eight boyfriend and we literally ended on such amicable terms. We continue to be friends throughout high school and not just that but also we've just like always been super chill super bro-y I don't want to say bro-y but like we're just definitely on good terms I don't want to say we're close friends because it's not like we catch up all the time he literally reached out to me and was like hey I heard you're in town do you want to catch up and I was like yeah sure and then afterwards I literally messaged him and I was like can I film this he has given authorization for us to film this hangout so you guys actually get to meet him in the next 14 minutes because I'm late. Basically, his name is Colin. I'm gonna bleep it out if he says that he doesn't want his name to be known. We'll see if this is bleeped or not. TBD. We dated in grade 8 and we actually had a pretty cute relationship. I think we dated for like eight months or something like that. The relationship was super innocent because we were super young, so we really didn't do like anything. But I think the thing that I remember most about our cute little relationship in high school, he used to write me these cards all the time and he's super artistic. His cards were like, all out like he used special paper good shit from michael's type of thing you know the sparkles like all of that i don't know why i remember this so clearly he like put a lot of work into his cards anyway just to kind of talk about how chill our relationship was after we broke up towards the end of grade eight i actually don't even remember why we broke up so i'm gonna ask him in case we have different memories I'm pretty sure i broke up with him and i think the reason why was just honestly because we were so young both of our parents were really strict like the relationship was really like not doing anything and oh actually I kind of remember this part I actually would see my friends and some other guy friends more than I would see him I think that's why but I'm gonna confirm my reasoning with him a little bit later also fun fact so he went to UBC and when he got to UBC Teresa my podcast partner slash my best friend if you guys haven't already pieced it together when she went to UBC she met Colin this is one of those relationships and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we're about to launch a podcast episode called should your friends be friends with your ex spoiler we basically say it depends and there's like only certain situations where it's okay to be friends with an ex and this is one of them. Me and Colin are like so chill. We're honestly like such great friends. At one point, Teresa and this ex-boyfriend actually FaceTimed me together while they were at UBC and I was studying in Toronto and I was like a little homesick and I was like missing them. This is one of those situations where I literally do not care if my friends are friends with him. In fact, if Teresa or anybody else, by the way, if any of my other friends are watching, want to date my ex-boyfriend, this one, this one, this one, I'd like to clarify. 
then by all means. In fact, I will hook you guys up. I will bring you together. If my Toronto friends are watching this, this man lives in BC, but I will hook you guys up if you watch the video later and are into him, okay? I don't actually know if he has a girlfriend because I think this is what the whole catch up is about. So I don't actually know. Maybe we'll be disappointed. I don't know. He is also my favorite ex-boyfriend because just because we're so chill. There's like other boyfriends I find. You know how like Ariana Grande is like one taught me love, one taught me pain, one taught me something else. You know what she's missing? One taught me fucking regret, okay? Because there are two exes that I have in mind where I'm literally like, why did I even date you? Some of the exes that I've had, I'm just like, oh, that was a painful relationship, but it taught me so much. Or like, oh, I really liked that guy. Or like, oh my God, that was such a shame. It didn't work out, blah, blah, blah. However, there are a lot of ex-boyfriends where I'm just like, what were you thinking, girl? I feel like I should put that on TikTok. If you end up seeing a TikTok about this, it is from this vlog and from this car ride, so. Anyway, we are actually meeting up at this Italian restaurant called, I forgot, I will leave it down here. We are meeting at that restaurant and this is really funny because he's like, what are you craving? And I was like, I just want to go to that pizza place from the previous vlog. If you guys have seen the previous vlog where I was like, I just wanted to go to that pizza place, but it doesn't open until four. Pizza place, I will leave the name of the pizza place I was talking about but unfortunately when I was looking it up this pizza place doesn't even open until 4 p.m. so I told him I wanted to go there but it's all the way in Port Moody and he's coming from Richmond after I was just like sending him all these pictures of like pizza places and he's like is pizza the craving and I'm like I guess so like I'm stressed out anyway I just want my pizza anyway once we get to the restaurant I will get you guys to meet him so I will talk to you guys in a bit say hi Hello! Oh, you're so cute! Hi! This place is honestly so cute. I think I'm gonna bring Teresa back here and take some photos. Hey guys! Welcome to another day of this vlog. It's actually been a really long time since the last footage of this vlog but basically as you guys saw in the last footage I hung out with my ex-boyfriend Colin. I wanted to actually film more and he also was like very willing to be in the video and we wanted to kind of do a little bit more funner things but like I mentioned we haven't seen each other in over like eight years so we ended up spending the entire dinner just focusing on catching up and stuff like that so unfortunately we didn't get any good footage of us but we are hanging out again today. I was like telling him how we should do something fun so we're actually gonna meet up i'm gonna pick him up and we're gonna go to honey's donuts in north vancouver apparently it's really really good i've never tried it personally we actually have a list of questions that we're gonna do and answer together that we thought would be really fun so stay tuned hi hello we are officially in north vancouver this is actually a great place to come in the summer to kayak and hike etc oh my god this looks so good i'm so excited This is the inside. This is so cute. Hi guys. So I have Colin here as you guys already saw from before. So anyway, we just came from Honey's Donuts and we got one chocolate one to split and the rest are the honey ones, right? It smells so good. It smells so good. And they look like that. It's just like a fat circle. But apparently it's like really highly raved. There was like a celebrity who like yeah. Really? Yeah, that like talks about this place. Anyway, point is, I'm trying it for the first time. This is not Colin's first time. But we're gonna do this and then we're also gonna answer some questions for fun. When can we when can we eat? You can eat it now. Oh, okay. Okay. Or okay, actually we can just Yeah. I was just smelling it the whole time and I was waiting for you. I know. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Whoa. I told you. It's like a meal. And it's really warm. Oh my gosh. This is really good. This is definitely nothing that I've ever had before. Yeah. This is a very unique donut. It's actually surprising. I think this is less sweet than I remember it. Normally the outside's a little bit more crusted. What are your initial impressions? Reactions? Yeah. Like. I love the texture. Mm hmm I really like the honey. Mm -hmm. I just like honey in general. Right. I think it is like a little too thick for me. Right. 
Something and, you would I, share with someone. Mm-hmm. I do like the warmth of the donut, though. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I'm fine. <laughs> On such a cold day like this, it's like it's actually perfect. Mm -hmm. And we also have a really nice view in front of us. Mm -hmm. We thought we would answer some questions. This is actually one that I got off Refinery29. The title of this article, which I'll leave in the description box down below, is Do you still think I'm a nice person? 29 questions with an X. Absolutely not. Except... <laughs> I already prefaced, like, in the first video, I was like, you're my favorite ex. Yes. Point is. Wait, you know what? I think I would say the same thing. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Aww, I just, like, that's so it. cute. Wow, we are each other's favorite exes. We dated in grade eight. Yeah, so, like, I think that's what makes it so, like... Wholesome. Yeah, and cute. Yeah, like, we didn't traumatize each other. Well, you don't know that yet. We haven't answered the question. <laughs> You haven't answered the questions dead. yet. Okay, well, I don't think we traumatize each other, but you know, that might change for some people oh, or it might be different. There are 29 questions, but we're not going to do all of them for the sake of time and also irrelevancy. First question, describe case that's the night we met, but just describe how we met because we didn't meet at night. I feel like the two of us are going to have different answers, but I think mine is the right one. I'm going to be 100% honest. Yours is probably the right one. Okay. My memory is so poor. Okay, how do you think we met? Oh! Is it English 8? No. Oh, shoot. Here's why I think mine's accurate. Because initially when I read the question, I was like, right off the bat, I'm like, high school. But then I realized we actually met each other a lot earlier than high school. Because... As a track meet? Yes. Mm. So, Colin and I went to different elementary schools. You mm -hmm. went to Lockdale and I went to Seaford at the time. Okay, yeah. So, I definitely met you at a track meet. One of my best friends is from Lockdale, Jesse. Right. So, I think she introduced me to you when I would always, like, sneak over to, like, your school just to say hi to her and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's In what between. it was about. <laughs> you saw but me yeah, running. Was, oh, um, is that I do remember watching your races. Loki. Wow. 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 Maybe I was obsessed with you. Come on. Next question. What did you think of me in the beginning? Super cute. Aww. 100%. Yeah. I thought you were sweet. Short. <laughs> um, Still short. Cute. Yeah. I thought you were so friendly. Like you were you were willing to like put yourself out there and meet new people. Meeting someone from like a different school was not like... Like most times you just suck to your pod. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I thought it was really cool that you would like go out and that's how we met. Okay. Yeah, you weren't the fastest. I was, though. Okay, not the fastest, but yeah, like yeah. against other schools I was in grade 7. Then everyone outgrew me because <laughs> I was so short. <laughs> yeah, I remember your dimples and then your, your swooped hair. Like <gasps> it kind of like came oh my over God. like this. And it, was like, it was like a little bit more straight. I had like the most horrid yeah. bangs. But side bangs was like a millennial thing mm. growing up. And you'd like... Big eyes, like nice eyes. Thank you. Yeah. So what did I think of you in the beginning? Okay, same impression. I thought you were super cute. Also, I think I thought like you were super popular. Like I think I thought that every girl wanted to go with you. Actually, I think that was true because we had other girls from other elementary schools who like had a crush on you. What? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. This went into high school. I actually thought of this all today when I was like previewing the questions. Okay. We'll beep out her name, but like remember that drama with... <laughs> yeah, I thought about that a little bit actually. I'm not oh gonna God. lie. Yeah. I remember that. Okay, so basically, like, I was really good friends with a bunch of people from different elementary schools. Jesse was one of them. This other girl was one of them. Then we all went to the same high school. Mm -hmm. We all had a crush on you. <laughs> and then we weren't friends anymore. Oh my God. I feel bad. <laughs> But I didn't do anything. Wait, ever since then, you guys can tell from the podcast because we've like talked about this so many times. But like, I think that scarred me forever because mm -hmm. I like realized I was like, wow, she was such a great friend. I think it like taught me such a big life lesson because I never did it again. Mm -hmm. But yeah, same impression. Like you were like super friendly, super cute, and I think that was it. Do you remember? I, I wrote you a song. Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only song I remember you singing to me is. Okay, you probably sang a lot, but like the one that I remember is called More Than Words. Because I think that was actually the song I knew how to play. Anyway, that was also my favorite song. You know you time. sang me a song? Oh my god. Please tell me I did not. You did. I am not a good you singer. Did. What did I sing to you? Yeah, I was in my house. And so it was over the phone, actually. You were like, oh, I think I, I, I sing a song, but I don't want to sing it. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. Like, you, you should do it. You should do it. And you were like, okay. It was Hate That I Love You. Hate that. But, uh, was it Rihanna? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you I'm prefaced it. I'm literally traumatized. You prefaced it by saying, your windows are going to break. <laughs> 
I remember that. <laughs> I've been honest since day one. Okay, so objectively, you probably in the moment because I was your girlfriend, you probably said I was good, but honest answer, was I good? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was so rough. I'm so sorry I put you through oh, that. Oh, no, no. Uh, it, the, you asked for it, to the, be fair. The sentiment was there. <laughs> it was a beautiful moment. It was oh a beautiful God, moment, crying. not beautiful. Voice. So the next question, when do you think we were happiest together? Okay, I actually have this answer and it's funny because all of these memories have been put in a box in my head and they're now just like getting resurfaced. When we were happiest together was when we would always go on walks at lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To like so this far away playground. What do we call it? It was a number. Really? Yeah, it was a number, 100%. But I, I don't mean, know what the number was. Okay. I thought it was maybe 30. We'd be like, hey, you want to go to like 30 or you want to go to 20, 27 or something? I yeah, don't I even remember, remember that. Okay, okay. Well, I remember exactly where it is like in my memory. Mm -hmm. Like I even, I can even like picture how to get there right now, yep. like from school. We would always like ditch all of our friends mm -hmm. and then go there, just yep. the two of us. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that was when we were happiest together, right? I would agree. Yeah. We go out for lunch. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, the next one is what's your favorite memory? Is that kind of the same? Oh, what definitely the Rihanna song. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Okay, my favorite memory of you. I don't know. I feel like I had like a bunch of like little ones. I can go first. Okay, I thought you the, already went. The, no, I'm just joking. It was not my favorite memory. <laughs> no, I think it was when we oh met god. at Montecito Playground. It was our one date. Oh my god, our you told date. me this? I would like to say that this date that he's referring to, I've literally like like completely blocked out of my mind. You told me the significance of that day it right was, after. It was significant. Lisa was getting upset at me in our grade 8 self because uh, we didn't hang out outside <laughs> of school, so which was true. And so I wanted to please her. And so I told my parents that I was going out for a run on like a, a random morning. So I ran and classic Lisa, she was like, I'm, I'm late. <laughs> but she wasn't late for like 10 minutes. It was, it was an hour or 45 minutes yeah. late. So I had been out running for about an hour and 45 minutes waiting for Lisa. And then right when I'm about to leave, cause I think she's not coming. She sends me a text like I'm five minutes away. She shows up with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then we ended up like spending like probably another 45 minutes there and then I got in so much crap. And then your parents called my cell called phone. Called your cell phone. And they didn't even know we were dating yeah. at the time. Yeah. So they just randomly called because they had assumed because parents always know. I got kicked off the volleyball team. By my, oh, yeah. by my parents. See, I didn't know any of this. In fact, like that date, I don't even know what would have made me that late. I can't even remember. I have no idea. But I am so sorry yeah. for you and the volleyball team. Okay, the next question is kind of like that. Like, this is a question. It says, when did it start to go wrong? But I feel like it's more just like, why did we break up? Yeah. It was I like a slow, we... it was like a gradual, <clears throat> I feel like you were just getting like a little frustrated with the, the same thing over and over again. Yeah, I think it was just because we were so young, both of our parents were super strict and I didn't get to see him or you, I don't know who I'm talking to right now. I get to see you that much outside of school mm -hmm. and then I would see a lot of like other people outside of school and I always just felt like our relationship was like within our School. school. Mm -hmm. What was our school hours? Like eight to three, eight to four. But it was never because like something was wrong with each other. Mm -hmm. This one's interesting. Okay. Well, actually, both of them are interesting. The first one is describe the day that we broke up. I don't know if you would remember. I remember. Do you remember? It. Oh yeah. I don't remember. Oh. Okay, you go. Okay, so it was very clear. I don't know. We were on break or something like that, but it wasn't like a normal a normal school day or anything because we didn't do it in person. You did it over the phone. I was with my family in the living room and we were watching like. Uh, it's like a it's like a movie about blackjack. I think it was called 21 or, okay. or something like that You called and I picked up and then you were like, hey, can we talk? And I was like, oh, okay And then I remember you just kind of explaining it over the phone and then breaking up with me and I was like Aww. "Oh, Okay, I hung up the phone I don't think it like hit me yet because I just went back down and I watched the yeah. movie and I finished it And then like my parents were like, what's wrong with you? And I was like, I don't know and then I got really sad. Oh, I think it was in the summer. It was like yeah, I think I, I think it was, it was in the like summer. we just finished high school or something yeah. like that. I think I knew like I wasn't gonna see you because mm -hmm. your parents also they weren't just strict in terms of like you hang out with anybody, but I think like they didn't know that you were dating or like. I think at that point they knew that 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 point okay. they knew. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why. That's probably why it had to be over the phone because like mm -hmm. if it was in school, then it would have made more sense. But we were already on break. Break. Yeah. But I'm sorry, I should have done that in person regardless. Oh, that's okay. But I was okay. also like... That's okay. We were grade 8. Yeah. <laughs> grade eight. 
Okay, so the next question is how long did it take you to get over me and the breakup? So I can answer first for this one. I don't know like if I can say like a hard date because I can't remember. Yeah. We were also still friends like all throughout high school. Mm -hmm. Obviously naturally like it shifted. Like, yeah, like yeah, the friendship yeah. shifted. Like we couldn't be as close or interact as normally as we would have if, yeah. we, with, like, if we hadn't been in a relationship yeah we joked around and stuff like that so. oh yeah 100 percent. we also used to joke about how we used to date especially as like time went on oh. and then we would like make fun of each other really yeah. next question how do you feel about me now <sighs> this is a tough question how do i feel about you now i can go first okay since graduating high school, mm -hmm. I feel like we didn't really keep in that much touch except for True. in first year when right. I would like right. talk to Teresa. And then he met Teresa in first year because mm -hmm. they all went to UBC and I like went to Ontario. You guys would FaceTime me sometimes. I didn't even answer the question. How do I feel about you now? I feel like you were always like super positive. Me and Teresa both shared this opinion. We were like on the phone right before I came here. And we're just like, Colin is literally like the nicest person. And Aww just like super wholesome and just kind and like nice and just yeah oh that's i don't nice. think my opinion of you have has ever changed hmm. to be honest that's really nice thank you oh you're welcome um i think for me it's very similar on that level but i also feel like i'm finding it's like you're like a new friend like we're getting to learn yes. learn like learn about each other again i feel excited to meet you again mm -hmm. like that kind of thing okay wait actually kate i think this is a really interesting question not from this list but okay. do you think that we've grown up since it's been so long 2008 is when we dated and then 2012 was like the last time we saw each other right so like do you think i've changed as a person or have i just become who you thought i was always going to be but like Enhanced. Oh, that's so interesting. That is a good question. Because I feel like for you, it's like you were, you didn't really change drastically as a person. I feel like it was just who you were in high school and who I know you to be and just like amplified. Yeah, I would say the same for you. I think a lot of the things that you were like, that were great about you, I just are still great and have become yeah. and matured and developed in different ways yeah like yeah. i think your characteristics your personality and then mm. even like your interests and like what you're doing now and <laughs> stuff you've like shown that in high school yeah i think the only thing huh. that surprised me in our car ride here he told me that he doesn't sing as often that surprised me because <laughs> i thought you would always have that with you <laughs> or like artisticness yeah that has shifted i don't yeah i think you i would say i think a lot of the great things about you have just been amplified yeah, yeah. okay yeah. Cool. this makes a lot of sense like the fact that you do this like, <laughs> really it makes a lot of sense you were always super artistic and every month like we would have our month anniversaries and we would always make each other cards and you would always give me like the most artistic creative cards like do you remember this oh that was so nice of me <laughs> literally go and like print a photo and this is like the black and white picture that i have in my mind i even remember like the paper that you used was like scrapbook paper it wasn't just oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. regular paper like glitter in it and it had oh glitter Nice. Or like it was like shiny. <laughs> it wasn't like it wasn't like basic paper. Right, right. Anyway, that's what I remember hmm. as well. I honestly don't remember those cards at all. Other ones. Okay, what are my worst traits? Because I feel like we've covered best. I literally, and this is not me being nice, but I actually cannot think of a bad trait for you. Right? Like our experience and of each other in grade eight is like. Yeah. Yeah. Like even in high school. I can't think of one for you, but like even one for it's me so for weird. you is like me being late that day. That was kind of shitty. <laughs> I feel like I'm late a lot, so I've actually been actively trying to work on it. I mean, after all these years, I really, really gave it an effort last right. year. See, it's so hard to, to say that even for you because like when you talk about lateness, it was like that one time. True. Yeah, I can't think of anything. That's a really that's a really tough question. Okay. Because thinking back to, to that time, it's like... Yeah. What did you learn from our relationship? The importance of like spending one-on-one -on -one time together, like mm -hmm. not surrounded by your friends. Like you can't always just hang out in group settings. Yeah. And like being at school and then like leaving for like, what, half an hour for lunchtime? Like mm -hmm. that's not enough. Yeah. Like we needed to have those moments to like build our relationship like outside of that. Exactly. What did I learn? Especially after high school, it's like there are genuinely really, really good people out there. Hmm. You just have to like be better at like filtering people out. 
Right. Like a lot of people have like bad intentions and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then it's like knowing to spot like people with really good and genuine intentions. Like it is out there, but it's rare. Oh my God, some of these questions are so funny. How many times did you seriously think about cheating on me? <laughs> like never? Um, <laughs> like in, we were in grade eight. Um, I have a question for you. Okay. When you look back on high school, do you look at it fondly? Ooh, to be honest, no. In general, I think like I naturally had some resentment about our high school in general. Our high school didn't have a lot of school spirit because I was such a big high school musical fan. As you know. <laughs> okay. So I had that like vision like going into high school that it was going to be like sports teams and like all this energy that mm. just never amounted to anything. Like I think Canadian schools are so different mm. from American schools True. in that way. So we naturally didn't have a lot of things that I was like hoping for. And then I think it was also like how I portrayed myself as a person. I think I had that reputation i didn't even drink until grade 12. not saying like i was chasing all of those things but it was more just like i think i took it really really seriously i didn't really like let myself enjoy it enjoy it yeah because mm. i was like so involved in every single damn club yeah i didn't really like live as a kid like i don't think because mm. i was just so serious like i was constantly in community service mm. volunteering like in these clubs then i studied and that was like my entire teenage mm years. Why do you think you did that? I don't know. I think like I view life a lot differently now, but I think I was like trying to do everything right like mm -hmm. by my parents. But mm -hmm. anyway, what about you? Uh, no, not really. It's so funny to me what you were saying earlier about like your perspective on me being like really nice and stuff like that. I felt like I was a terrible human in high school. What? Especially in my later years, there's so much I regret. Like that whole like chasing popularity life and like all that kind of stuff. Being so involved led me to like bully others. Like there's some people that I just like. I you feel like didn't, you bullied people. I do. Not I think like this. not like physically because I was not strong. Um, verbally and like with like the power that I had. Like I called people names. I just like. Oh, you did. And yeah, yeah. I feel so bad about it now because that's just like not not who I am anymore. And mm -hmm. so it's just like I look back on that. I'm like oh, I wished I did things differently because I valued like how people perceived me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. of course. I guess I didn't really envision, maybe I just didn't witness it. Maybe, and this is maybe, I don't know if you want to use this for this. So you dated people after grade eight, obviously. Mm -hmm. So did I. Yeah. What was your perspective when I started dating other people? Oh, when you started dating other people. Yeah. Did that change or alter because of our past history? No, I, I honestly thought like, oh my God, good for you mm -hmm. and that person, right. whoever it was at the time. Yeah, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, yeah same thing. Same thing. I think I had this like hope, like deep down, she had like the same values as you. Mm. Because like, I think compared to the average person, you have stronger like morals and values and stuff. So I like mm. wish that for you. I mean, you started dating people that were like pretty close to me at the time. Which was <laughs> Your whole volleyball team. <laughs> <laughs> the whole volleyball team. Yeah, basically actually. I particularly remember this one volleyball event. Grade 10 boys going against the seniors and it was two seniors against like three or four like grade 10 boys. It was like one of those grad events. We were watching on the bleachers. You and, and, yeah. and then they were like, hey, look, that's Lisa's team. <laughs> okay, my question for you. Do you think that exes can be friends? Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is an example, right? Yeah, and I mean, like, my answer is generally no, but I think, mm -hmm. like, of all my exes, like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be friends with any of them except for you. Yeah, that's fair. The only reason why we're also able to be friends right now mm. is because we're not dating anybody. Because yeah. if you had a girlfriend, if I had a boyfriend and he really understood how our relationship was, like, from grade eight, yeah. I think he should be fine with it. Yeah. I don't know, I guess still depending on his That's tolerance. Good That's yeah. a good point. Like, my last boyfriend, I think no matter how innocent our relationship was, I don't think he would have been chill with that. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. I think it also depends on the person. I think it depends on the person, yeah. too. I think you can be. It just, it, I think it really depends on the people, in my opinion. There are some people that will look back on things and, and think, like, oh, I regret that. But, like, I don't regret, like, our relationship because sure. I feel like we talked about, like, we learned a lot and stuff like that. One of the things you said, you, like, you look back on it and it was like, oh, that was a really cute moment. That yeah. was like, a really cute time. I think it really depends on the people. Yeah. It also takes one person to reach out first. Yes. In this case, mm. you, thank God. Yeah. yeah. Or else we wouldn't be friends today. 
day. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of circumstances. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I think like you waited a good amount of time because it wasn't also while either of us were in relationship. It changes the dynamic for yeah. sure. Exactly. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for Colin who decided to volunteer. And I'm just kidding, I volunteered you. <laughs> I was but, in it for the donuts. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!